the day my mother passed away, I didn't want to be here. At a Beyoncé concert, Meghan and Harry got into a heated argument. While watching Beyoncé perform, Prince Harry appears unhappy and preoccupied, but Meghan lets it go. In addition to many other prominent people, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attended Beyoncé's concert at Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles on Friday night, but their experiences were completely different. The Renaissance World Tour was performing at Sophie Stadium in Inglewood on Friday night, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were spotted there. The event was one of three nights. The concert itself had an all-star lineup, including legendary hip-hop artists, so the night wasn't just about the British nobility in attendance. The evening's mood was set by DJ Khaled, and 2 Chains also performed. Wiz Khalifa, Lil Wayne and Ronnie Rich Coyle array offset well, Doria, Meghan's mother, was spotted dancing and waving while watching the show. Harry seemed more quiet and was seen checking his phone a lot, which led some people to think he was uninterested. When she brings him outside for a few pictures, he also looks awful. Perhaps this was his payback for standing next to that attractive woman in Japan. His hands and pockets are not smiling, and another reader noticed that he seemed depressed in their post. As it was the day after his mother's passing, some fans defended him. Even though I understand that the boys are terrible and brought everything on themselves, the photographs of Harry that I'm seeing are insane. Whatever your opinion of him, the time and anniversary of a death are always difficult and evoke a wide range of emotions. Imagine now if you are a person who has expressed your mental struggle as clearly as this man has, and your pathologically heartless wife brings you to a pointless Beyoncé concert to get popped so that she won't appear to be out having a good time while you are struggling with your misery. Meghan Hurry engaged in a significant altercation prior to the concert, the person added. At the concert, he exudes such unhappiness. Why doesn't she provide him support or comfort? Not even talking to him or including him is she doing. She's not supposed to spoil him, I'll venture a guess. Why doesn't she take him home if he is so unhappy there? What I said is still true. Although the husband is a terrible man, she agreed to become his wife. He would be spending the last weekends of summer in Balmoral with family and friends who genuinely love and care for him if he had never married Meghan, but you can't even muster a shred of sympathy at this time. He wouldn't be at some silly Beyoncé concert with the paparazzi on speed dial if he had the opportunity to go hunting, fishing, shoot cookouts along the river, and be alone with his mother. He doesn't belong there, just like Diana didn't belong in Paris with Dodi al Fayed, it is also true. A person commented, I wonder if the word renaissance confused Harry's wife and she thought it was like the medieval fair. Other users thought the photographs were taken at the perfect moment for a joke. The performance of Harry's most recent Netflix documentary, Heart of Invictus, which debuted on the streaming giant Netflix but has so far failed to rank among the top 10 most watched shows on the site in the US may also have contributed to his downcast appearance, according to American showbiz journalist Kinsey Schofield and GB News presenter Mark Dolan. He appeared to be pretty depressed, Kinsey remarked. Harry appeared to be wearing a woman's blazer and gave off an incredibly wretched appearance.